Hello, everybody. Happy early Halloween. As I showed you in a previous video, I bought a mixed six pack with nothing in it but pumpkin, of course. I saw the three cans of pumpkin noir, saw multiple cans of pumpkin noir, and I'm like, yes. I was tempted to get a full six pack of that, but I, um, I decided I wanted to get this again as well. I haven't reviewed this one on here in a while. This is New Belgium Atomic Pumpkin. It's a, it says seasonal slash spicy release. It's a pumpkin brew with red chili. And as I was always, I love the artwork on these. These skeletons are just so cute. It's kind of, well, they're not really a military. They're just a bunch of randomly dressed skeletons, which is kind of cool. I rinsed this out from last night. Okay. And of course, Crystal Skull is back. I might just start using him for more beer, beer reviews because he's just cool. I use the one I call Skelly or Scully. And I've also called my <laughs> Max Melter Scully, so we might have to work on the names a bit. It's a nice color there. You can smell the pumpkin. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Right off the top. <clears throat> you get the mix of pumpkin and red chili. Which sounds like a rather odd combination if you're not used to it, but as I said, I've had these before, uh, and I think I've even reviewed, reviewed it on this channel. But I've had this channel for like four years now, so I've kind of lost track of which beers I've done and which ones I haven't. If you scroll through the library, or playlist, whatever you want to call it, it might be in there or maybe it's dropped off because I guess the app can't hold as, ma as many videos, obviously, as the official online site does. So, um, so there might be ones archived or something in, in, on, in or on. <laughs> YouTube that I don't have on my phone anymore, but well, you're welcome to scroll through and give it a look. Um, as I said in my other video, I uh, my table did get sold. I kept the top with the drawings because the lady that bought the table decided I should keep my artwork. She told me I did a, did a good job, a pretty good job or something. I don't remember exactly, but she, as a teacher, she she gave me a compliment, and that made me feel good. That made my whole day. And as I said in the other video, if I recall, it's kind of funny. I thought I was check, you know, the text is like, this is Jen. So I was automatically assumed it was Jen from the bakery where I work. Well, I don't work in a bakery, but bakery department at the Walmart where I work. So we were just chatting back and forth as if that's who she was. And then she pulled up yesterday and got out. Hi, it's Jen. It's like, and I kind of mentioned to her that I thought, Oh, I, I thought this was the gen that I worked with. <laughs> Did you work the whole time? I said, well, kind of, but this is okay. This is actually better. <laughs> and we chatted a lot in fun. We had a lot in common. We both moved out here from out of state as a single mom with two kids and several pets. She doesn't have any grandkids yet. And I don't either, with the exception of my younger son's stepson, which I am going to be sending them a large Christmas present after I get moved. I look like such an old lady today. <laughs> anyway, back to what we were talking about. Um, the beer. So yes, it's it's a bright color, bright sunny color. Um, I know it's supposed to be a fall brew, but it looks bright to me. I've had pumpkin ales and stouts that were a deeper shade of orange. 
and I don't want to guess and say it might be because of the red pepper. I have no idea. For whatever reason, it's a nice bright orange. And it's got a bright taste to go with it. Like I said, it's pump. You got the pumpkin and the red pepper, red chili. Hit you in the face right away. And it's a nice, pleasant combination between savory and spicy. It's not a sweet pumpkin, like some, some pumpkin brews are, which tastes more like you're drinking pumpkin pie, which is pretty good, actually. And in the previous video, I had one that was supposed to taste like a charred pumpkin pie. I know. You'll have to try it to see if you like it yourself because it's a rather bizarre sounding combination, but it's actually quite delicious. Um, yes, it's it, it's it's a different take on pump, uh, pumpkin brew. It's, uh, like I said, it's not sweet. It's, it's savory, it's spicy. Uh, not exactly, it's not what you would call a dessert beer. In fact, it's not a dessert beer at all. It's kind of, you could pair it with your meal. I'm not sure what you would pair it with. But something that would bring out and enhance the flavor of the beer. So that's a very short review. Again, New Belgium, it's California and I believe, what was it, North Carolina? Yeah, California and North Carolina. And this one was... Six, I think it's 6.5. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, 6.4. 6 6 6 6.4 ABV. So it's 6.4%. Uh, alcohol by volume. Is it sessionable? Yes. It's slightly more sessionable than the last one we had because it's not as strong. However, with any alcohol, know your limits, know what your body can handle, and don't drive if you're buzzed or definitely if you're intoxicated. Some of the ones that have like between a four and a six you might not feel it right away, but after you've had a few, it will it will still accumulate, and you will still it will still catch up with you. Uh, but they are sessionable because they're highly drinkable. It's not a heavy brew like some pumpkins are, so it's it would be easy to knock back a few because it is light in volume. That's not what I mean. You know, it's it's light. It's a lighter beer. It's not heavy. It's or or syrupy so you can drink several of them but I would not recommend driving anywhere after doing so and metal guy 1983 if you're watching try, give it a try it's not a local so you should be able to buy it at any liquor store okay as I was saying you uh, can get this at most grocery stores that have six packs, cases, uh, mixed flights. So you should be able to find it if you're looking for it. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, to wrap it up, it's uh, bright and spicy. It's sessionable. It's not heavy. Uh, it's not as sweet as some pumpkin brews. So if you're expecting it to taste like pumpkin pie, you'll be pleasantly surprised because it doesn't taste like pumpkin pie, but it's pumpkin-y and it is hot, slightly. So give it a try. If you've tried other pumpkin brews and you want something new and different that you haven't tried before, try this one. And again, I will try to find some other ones as the month progresses, but I can't guarantee anything because I do have to save some money aside for when I move because I'm going to have to secure an apartment, which means um, putting down first month's rent plus a deposit and all this other good stuff. So, like, 
seven, eight hundred bucks or more up front, which means not quite as much shopping as I would have normally done. But we will catch up hopefully, and if there are any more to be had, if I have time and I can find some other ones before I move, I will show them here. Um, we won't be doing any more Halloween shopping this year, or as most of us like to say, decor shopping, uh, because that would be even more boxes to load, pack and load when I leave. So um, that's, that's it, we'll just wrap this up. Again, remember, reverse masquerade. It's required again in some places. Um, don't drag and drive, obviously, take turns. And if you like, like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see me in your inbox and know what other kinds of nonsense I'm up to next. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.